Today in this 2014 Ford Escape, we're going to be test fitting the 23 by 60 Stromberg Carlson cargo carrier for two inch hitches, part number CC-100. This has a 500 pound carrying capacity, has a nice mesh floor which makes it easy to clean, and all around the cargo carrier we have these larger pre-drilled holes, and those are going to serve as tie down points for either your ratchet straps or your bungee cords. We also have three smaller pre-drilled holes here, which you can use for either reflectors or lights should you choose to install them. And we have two pre-drilled holes here, just in case whatever it is you're hauling blocks off your license plate, you can transfer it down here. I'm going to go ahead and give you some measurements now. <clears throat> Measuring from the bumper to our outer edge here, we've added about 26 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. For a ground clearance to the bottom of this bolt here, that's going to be about 10 inches. And our closest point to the bumper, this inner edge here, that's going to be about three and a quarter inches. This does have dual exhaust, and the exhaust is pretty close to the cargo carrier, so you want to keep that in mind. In fact, it's about seven inches from our cargo carrier. So any heat-sensitive material, you may want to keep more towards the center, or possibly put it into your ha uh, cargo hatch. Excuse me. Now, we do have full access to our hatch to get whatever it is we need. However, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick breakover point measurement. And that's going to be the point where whatever it is you're hauling would come into contact with your hatch. And that's going to be about 15 inches, so you want to keep that measurement in mind when you're loading up your gear. This is for two inch hitches only and does not come with a hitch pin and clip, although you can find one on eTrailer.com. Today we use part number PC3. So there you have it for the Strongberg Carlson cargo carrier, part number CC-100 on our 2014 Ford Escape. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.